the 2020 virtual grow gather hunt video fishing video um, today we'll be talking about when you get and receive your fishing poles how to set it up we'll also be talking about um, safety um, who you can contact um, and also we'll have in there um, be sure to visit our uh, grow gather hunt face Facebook page and you can uh, hashtag hashtag grow gather hunt and send your pics in to uh, the Facebook page that way we can kind of share and uh, share different fishing moments it doesn't have to mean uh, you have to catch something and, and uh, send a picture and just you know your family or you and just anything like that maybe the sunset maybe the place you're fishing things like that um, so today we're gonna go uh, over uh, when you get your box, you'll you'll be they'll be mailing to you. If you live out of outside of Osage County, they will be mailing you the fishing pole. So you're going to get a box like this mailed to you with all your other things. So once you get it, you're going to open this box up. You're going to pull out your fishing pole. So once once we get that, once we get your fishing pole, you're going to unravel it. All of the safety things. So set that to the side. Um, you're gonna you're gonna pull the, the plastic off and usually there's uh, a rubber band at the end and it and it just helps keep everything together so just take that off and then your pole will come into two pieces so you'll have the the base of it and you'll have the tip of it so then what you want to do is you want to line the eyes up these are the eyes right here uh, there's the one at the very tip and it goes all the way down until you uh, meet them in half in the in the middle part. Once you put them together, you want to meet you want to meet the eyes to where they're straight together. So your fishing line can go in there and be perfect. Um, so that's what your fishing pole will look like once you get it. Um, so once you get to this part, always check and see if your base right here because you can turn this part. And that's how you're able to take and loosen off the top, the reel, the actual reel. The rod by itself would just be one single piece. So then what you do is you just you just twist this back on to where it's real tight. That way the reel doesn't move and, and it's not loose, it's safe. So when you're casting, it won't come off. So after that, you want to make sure that you have, um, there's, a, there's a negative, there's a positive. You wanna turn it all the way to the positive so when you push the button, this is how you release it when you cast. So when you release it, your line should be able to come out. When your line comes out, just take one, two or three uh, spins and it shouldn't come out. So that way, you know how much. Now, if you were to go to the negative, it gives you slack to where it's like a bigger fish. You can, you know, it'll, it'll give you slack. Push it back over to the positive. And it, it it's not going to give you any, but you can still reel it in and everything. So, so that's the that's the whole um, safety purpose, and so it doesn't break your line, says it doesn't break your pole, things like that. Um, so after that, what you want to do is go ahead and push your um, uh, put your put your pole down, and if you're younger, um, be sure try to ask a, a bigger brother, bigger sister, um, aunt, uncle, or your parents to help you. These hooks are very, very sharp. Um, so when working with the hook, you just wanna make sure that you always get it at the top of the eye. That way you're not messing with the sharp end, sharp part. So um, the hooks will always have a line with an eye at the end of it. And that's where you're gonna tie the string to the end of it. Um, so you you always wanna buy, get um, extra hooks, wherever you wanna go, get, make sure you get extra hooks. Um, always be careful. It's, it's easy, they, they're so sharp, they will go right in your finger, things like that, and you don't want that to happen. Um, make sure that you have some weights. Um, these are just, this is, this is a starter kit. It'll come with uh, weights and stuff that I think you get in your kit. Uh, make sure that you put your weights on there so when you're casting, it just doesn't go five feet, you're able to cast it 20 feet or you know as far as you can. Um, the other thing that you're gonna get also in your starter, starter is your bobbers. Um, I have a set of bigger bobbers just to show you how it works. So um, if you haven't been fishing before, you can push on the top and a little hook will come out at the bottom. So when that hook comes out, you want to hook the bottom and then come around to the top, swing it, and then just push, push this red without, the, um, without touching the middle 
and that hook will come out and you attach it. And, and I'll show you, um, as soon as we get this fishing rod um, strung, strung out, we will um, actually show you how to put this bobber, bobber on and you know how it sets. Okay, so um, when you're stringing your fishing rod, there's a little, there'll be, always be a little plastic deal that helps it from going back inside. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a pair of scissors and just cut the end of that where it's connected. Once you do, it'll have the string only. Then you're gonna take that and you're gonna always, then you're gonna go through all those, each of those eyes of the fishing pole. So, the, so one of the things that you want to keep in mind too, when you're doing this, make sure you have enough room, enough space, so that you're not knocking something over, or, um, or maybe even um, poking somebody with the fishing pole, something like that. You just want to have, um, do it on the table um, with your parents or an older sister, or brother, um, or if you've been fishing before you know how to do it, just make sure you have enough room, no, enough space, to where it's not going to, going to um, uh, knock anything over or. Uh, maybe poke somebody in the eye or um, touch them. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the weights. And I know, um, so there's there's all kinds of different weights. You'll have weights that actually have um, the hole in them. You'll have some that will have a, um, a piece of metal come through it with a little eye and you can tie onto it. But um, the, these are the these are the good ones too. You can you can take these and you can put the weights on. When you put the weights on, you can tie them and make sure when you tie them that they're not going to slide or fall off. Once you get the the weights um, in the fishing string in the weights, you can start tying it to where it's going to be a knot and they won't slide or come off. Um, You want to leave enough room for your hook and everything else to go on there. So after that, you're going to have about, mm, about this much space and you want to cut off this end. And this is where your hook will come in. Your hook will have this eye and, the, and you just, just go through it like threading it, threading the eye, threading the needle. And once you have it on there, you can have it anywhere in the middle and you just tie it to where it's securely on there. And I like to do two or three knots just to make sure, especially if you get a big fish. <laughs> the main thing is just make sure that it, you're, the safety part where the hook's not anywhere close to your fingers or your hands when you're tying this and don't jerk or pull. And once you get it secured, then you can cut the, the access line off. Not too close, that's where you're gonna have it. Now, so now you have your, your weights, your hook, your line going through your pole, <clears throat> and then now we're gonna set a bobber. <clears throat> so what we were talking about before is when you, when you push this, you're gonna push this, and it's got a metal piece in the middle, that little metal. You push the, this button and the metal at the same time, and it makes the bottom pop out. So do you see the bottom? That bottom will go up top. Um, it doesn't matter where you put it at on the on the fishing line because you can move it on the line where you want it. So once you get that on there and you close it, and I'll do it again for you so you can see. Once you get that line on there and you close it, it'll it it securely fastens. Then you just roll up to the top of the tip of the uh, fishing pole. And you do, you'll do the same thing. This time you're going to hold the bottom piece, and you're not going to get that metal, but you're going to you're going to just get right in there, and you get that in there, and then you're just going to pull it there. And then it's securely fast. So now, when it's in the water, that's what it's going to look like. So from there, always hold it to where the weights are, not the hook. And then you're going to reel it in a little bit to where it gets tighter. 
and scoot your hand up some more, tighten it some more. And what you're gonna do is you're actually to fasten it and safen it safely. You're gonna put your hook inside that eye on the bottom part and you're gonna reel it in slowly to where it fastens and then it's safely hooked. That way when you're walking, you're fishing line, your hook's not waving around and it's not gonna catch anything or catch anyone, but it's, it's securely fastened into here. So once you, once you get it to there, um, always carry your fishing pole like this where, the, where, the, where it's the, the reel is down and just walk on your side, on this side of you and just walk them, um, just be careful, things like that. Uh, make sure that no one's in front of you when you're walking. If someone is, put it up right. That way they're not, you're not hitting anyone in front of you or anyone behind you. Hello, this is Herman again. Um, today we're doing the second part of the uh, fishing safety and we're, we're at the pond. Today we wanna to talk about the safety things. Um, watch out for snakes. Um, it's always good to let your parents know where you're going fishing. Um, that way if something happens, they know where to look, things like that. Uh, watch out for snakes. Like I said, that's the most important part. The other part is when you're fishing and if you can't swim at a pond that's man-made, man you'll have a dam part. And the dam part is where it's the deepest in the pond. So if you can't swim, stay away from that part because it, it gets real deep real fast. A pond, if you if you fish on the other side, it gets shallow. It'll be shallow, gets deeper, deeper as you go. It won't it won't drop off like where the dam part is. So it's real important to know um, when you're fishing. If you can't swim, don't fish off the dam. It's it gets real deep, really quick, and you, you can slip in and just you know go from there. Um, if you can, always always have a life jacket, a smaller fishing life jacket. You get those at Walmart and things like that. It's it's a smaller one. It's not um, it's not big and bulky, but it'll it'll save you from uh, when you go fishing and things. So today we're going to talk about um, we got the fishing pole all set up. What we're going to do is um, we're going to I'm going to teach you how to bait your hook and then cast it in. Make sure when you're casting, make sure that no one's around you when you're throwing in. You don't want to hook anybody. So today we're going to fish with worms. Um, ideally. I think it's uh, bluegill that's in here. Uh, maybe some catfish, uh, perch, maybe maybe some uh, sun um, sand bass, but mainly bluegill will be in here. Um, so what we're gonna do is you, you get your worm. You want to get it. Um, you kind of pinch it off. I didn't want to show that part, but you pinch it off to where where it's smaller. Then what you want to do is you take the top of your hook where your eye is. You unhook it safely and drop your rod down and you want to hold you want to hold your arm around your rod and grab the hook like this so that way your rod secure your rod secure and your hook is secure then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this at the very bottom of the the worm you're gonna hook it on there and just be real go real smooth and easy so you don't hook your finger but you want to get that worm on there you just keep threading it on there. You keep going. Keep going until it's all the way on there. Until it comes out the bottom. And when it comes out the bottom, you want to get it past that hook on the the, the back end. There's a hook right at the, the back end. You want to get it past that so it stays on there. Then as you as you switch again, you're gonna grab your rod with your right hand, or if you're left-handed with your left. And you're just gonna you're gonna hold the rod up halfway, and you're gonna drop your your hook so it just hangs there. Then after that, you're gonna turn it over, and you're gonna reel it in just a little bit to where the bobber touches. You're gonna want to put your place your finger on the hook where it where it's designed for it, and you're able to touch the button. When you touch the button, it releases a line. Don't let go of the button, or that'll happen. It'll just drop straight down. Okay, we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place your hand in the air and the hook again, and you're gonna put you're gonna push this button and hold it. When you hold it, that's when you take get get to your spot that you're gonna throw it in. What you wanna do is you wanna stop that right here, and as you're going forward, you wanna let go of the button at the same time. So when when it lands, then you kind of reel it in a little bit to where 
there's no slack in it and you just kind of wait for the fish to bite. The bobber will actually move or um, go up and down. That's what tells you you got to bite. So um, again, make sure you look around your surroundings, make sure that it's safe, make sure that um, you kind of clear an area, kind of like I did, clear an area so you can kind of see what's going on. Over here is kind of real thick and deep. Um, and what you want to do is, today it's pretty it's pretty mossy, so you're going to have to find a spot where it's not uh, uh, as bad and you can kind of reel it in. Um, the other thing too is whenever whenever you reel it in, you always you're gonna get stuck on stuff when you're reeling in. So when you when you pull it, it's gonna come at you when it comes off. So make sure it swings to the side of you. When you get hung up on the grass like this, grab it in the middle, grab your line, and then go down and, and untangle it there. Now now that you got it again, so you're gonna drop it again, and you're gonna reel it in to where the bobber touches. And you're going to want to pick a spot out there where you want to throw it, at, throw it in at. Once you get to that spot, you're just going to reel it in a little bit so there's no slack. And I think fishing is the, it's, it's important because it teaches you patience. Um, sometimes it's pretty hot. Uh, today we got an overcast, so it's kind of, it's kind of good. It's not so hot. The wind's blowing just a little bit. Um, so you just want your, your bobber to sit for a little bit, wait for it, wait for them, wait for it to bite. So again, I want to stress, watch out for snakes, uh, watch out for younger siblings, always help them. Um, Always let your parents know where you're at, where you're going fishing, whether it's a creek, a pond, a lake, um, maybe who with. Let them know who you're with. Um, uh, always have those things in place. That way, that way your parents kind of know where to go if they need you or something happens. They they know where to find you. Another safety thing: make sure that you. Uh, kind of look over the pond before you fish. Uh, maybe make some noise around the edges so it'll scare any of the snakes that you might see around. It'll scare those away. Um, that way you won't have any snakes come up by you or anything like that. So here's here's a good another good lesson too safety. Whenever you bring it in, you want to come out of the water because you want to set your pole down. You have moss and stuff on your on your line. You want to clean it off. Really good. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing you did last time. You're going to put this around your arm and you're going to hold this where the hook's out. You're going to grab it where the eye is so the hook doesn't hook you. Then you're able to unhook all the moss and, and clean your um, bait and stuff. Then you're going to do the same process over again. You're going to grab it right here where the weights are. And you're going to extend it out. Grab it with your right hand. And you're going to grab the fishing pole right about in the middle where it's balanced. And you're just going to drop your line again so it doesn't fling around and hook you in the leg or things like that. Um, we're going to cast it one more time. Um, so again, hook it. Push the button. Make sure that nobody's behind you, nobody around you. Bring it back and throw it out. And then again, place uh, place you want to reel it in just a little bit so there's no slack where it's going to pull. So when a fish does bite, your barber do does go down. You're going to have a, a reaction where you want to pull on it and then start reeling. That's that you want that hook to go into their lip or around their area. So when you got it, you can you have it. Secure it and you start reeling it in.
And then for when you're done, you're done fishing, you want to go ahead and again, set the rod down, place it in here again. And then you want to go ahead and grab the hook at the base where the eye is. And then to, to clean your bait, just take this off. Just real, real simple. Just take it off as the best you can. Don't hook yourself. All you're doing is you're taking the bait off so it doesn't dry onto the hook. And because um, you want to fasten and secure your hook to the pole so it doesn't uh, bounce around and move. So what we're going to do is, um, if you if you'll notice, the it's it is. You hook it in here to the bottom. The fishing pole is kind of bent a little. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it here at the weight. You're going to press a button, and then you're going to let it let it down easy. You're going to reel it up to where it's not, where your pole's not bent over. And that's, that's about right where you want it right there. That way the hook's secured and everything else is okay. You're not swinging it around, hitting anyone. Um, people in front of you, try to grab the middle of it, below the hook, and carry it upright. So no one, you're not hitting anyone in front of you, no one behind you. Um, if no one's around you, you can you can always carry it like this, where it's to your side and, and everything's fine. You don't have to um, uh, worry about hitting somebody or hooking somebody. So that's about that's about the right area. Um, again, have fun. Have have a lot of fun. Just always be um, be cautious of your surroundings, um, especially like today. Say there's a storm coming. If there's lightning things, you know, don't fish, go home, wait it out, then come back the next day. Um, other than that, just uh, have as much fun, be responsible, look after your young ones, your your brothers and sisters, uh, help them as much as possible. Um, again, encourage your parents to take you fishing. Mm -hmm.